Hey, just going ahead and checking in with a little bit of a tensor bonus here. Came across this tweet that deer and some other tiger prey are dichromats and perceive color, spelled uh, British, <laughs> somewhat like a person with red-green color blindness would be. So you can see here, it's like a tiger normally pops out the grass. Once you're actually red-green color blind, uh, it blends in pretty nicely. So I thought this was like a really cool uh, concept. And Andrew Webb posted this, and Andrew does a lot of really cool stuff for machine learning and AI. So I suggest that you definitely follow him. But uh, I was like, hey, isn't this something that we could kind of do really quick with Tensor Playground? So I went and grabbed this image, which is a free image of a tiger. And it looks like that bright orange really pops as he's jumping to this grass right here. So let's go ahead and see about maybe applying red-green color blindness with RGB tensors just really quick. So I want to show you how you would do something like that. So we'll start by bringing up Tensor Playground. This is our default Tensor Playground. And what we're going to want to do is we want to grab that image of that tiger. So I have that force here. We'll go to input our own image tensor. And then I'll just run this real quick to make sure that we have a picture of a tiger. And meanwhile, we'll bring up the TensorFlow docs to make sure we have those ready to go. Okay. So this concept-wise, if we're going to do red-green colorblind, I think that what we're going to do here, if you take a look at this, it's not like all the reds are kind of gone. You can still see some of it, and not all the greens are gone. Looks like they're just, you can't tell a difference between red and you can't tell a difference between green. So to sort of like emulate this, I'm going to average the red and the green channels together and then bring them all back together into a single image. And then what we should have is red and green have the same contrast exactly and blue will be the actual delimiter. So let's give that a go. We're going to go into here and this is super easy. First, we got to grab our red, green, and blue channels. So to do that, I'm going to start off with a const RGB. We'll grab the A tensor. And then I'm going to call dot split on the A tensor. So let's take a look at split. This is something we didn't cover in any of our previous lessons. So split, if we're calling tf.split, our first parameter is the tensor. Our second parameter is going to be the number or size of the splits, and then lastly, what axis to use. So if we call a tensor.split, we we'll only have two parameters. So that seems simple enough for us. We're going to come over here and say we want to split this into three different uh, tensors, and we want to split that. So that's number of splits. I'm going to split across the color channel axis, which will be channel 2, which is the third one. And this should give us an RGB. So that means if we come down here, we say R, grab that first one, this should give us the red channel. Okay, R is not defined, of course, that would be RGB. And these are the red channel. This is the green. And this is the blue. Okay, uh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to just break these out for us. And grab this like such. So we'll destructure this to red, green, and blue. So then I could just say, let's grab the red. And that'll look like such. Now we're looking at the red. You could see that if I were to, we could see it down here, but just to make sure, we'll say the shape of this. We have the height, width of the image, and then one channel for color. And that makes sense for us, right? So the next thing I want to do is I want to combine red and green. So let's stack them together. And then let's average those colors together to get a single setup here. So I'll say uh, this will be called red green. And we'll start here, we'll just tf.stack. And then we'll stack the red and the green together. And that should stack them appropriately, I think. All right. 
Um, I don't know, maybe, yeah, that should be red and green. So let's just take a look at this real quick. I'll return rg.shape just to make sure. Yeah, here's our height with their single color, and we have two of them stacked on top of each other. Now, when we average them back together, we will lose some dimensionality. So we're going to call tf.mean. And when we call tf.mean, we will say we want to use the first axis, which is this 2 here. We want you to take the average of these together, and that should bring us back down. There you go. We have lost the dimensionality and come back to a single image here. So if we were to print out this image, we are not seeing anything. So why are we not seeing anything? These values are, uh, they have 0.5s in them because we're averaging these colors together. It thinks that it is a type float, and we want this to come back to being integers because these numbers, as they were coming in, if we take a look at a tensor, I think a tensor is coming in as integers. So this is a little bit of a gotcha. See, these numbers are between 0 and 255, and it's in 32. So we know how to fix that. That would be as type int 32. And so now RG should work. Okay, this is a single channel monochrome of red and green combined. Well, I think that we're out of the confusion here on what it is uh, that we need to do. So we have red and green combined. And now we just reconstruct an RGB. So an RGB here, let's go ahead and set that up const RGB it's going to be equal to tf.concat, right? And we're going to say for concatting this, we're going to use RG for the red channel, RG for the green channel. We'll bring our blue back in. And then we are going to make sure we're concatting across the color axis. So this is, uh, this is that idea that we were talking about before when we could actually uh, we could actually grab the color channels and then concat them back together. Rather than using slice, uh, we just use split in this case, but you could use either. Uh, split just seemed like it was another way to do this that looked really simple for us. So now if we've done everything correctly, we can say that this A tensor that we created originally, or that we have originally, where we have this bright green grass and then this serious light popping red and orange tiger popping against the contrast of the background. Because we're so good at tensors, let's see if this works, RGB. Here we go. Now the red and the greens have been melded together and our blues are still there. Um, and then we could see that it's very hard actually to see the tiger um, a little bit more here. So this camouflage works very well for the tiger. I know in the original image, the tiger was like laying in reeds, so the the lines made a lot more sense. But I dare say, like, I'd be a little bit more uncomfortable if tigers blended in <laughs> this this well. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a bonus here, where we were able to extract, average, and then recombine different color channels, so that way you could actually command colors and work with them in uh, TensorFlow.js.